Go ahead and open Canva and in the search field, let's type poster. For this example, I'm going to go ahead with the 18 by 24 in portrait. I just want to bring up some of the larger stuff. Now, since it's spring and Easter, I think I'm going to choose Easter. Let's have a little fun with one of their uh, selections. And if you know Canva, you know they've got a lot of really good content. But I'm going to select this one. I'll go ahead and customize the template. Now what we're going to need to do is size this for 24 by 36. So right here where it says resize, go ahead and select that. Now you'll see I've already done this, so my size exists right there. But if you're doing this for the first time, you're more than likely going to have to use the custom size and just type your dimensions in right there. Don't forget to change it to inches. I'm just going to go ahead and select the 24 by 36 for this example and hit continue. Go ahead and copy and resize and open in 24 by 36. All right. Now from here is where I would go ahead and make my various changes to the document depending upon my needs. But for this example, we'll just print it out as is. So share, and when you download this, you don't want a PNG, you want to download it as a PDF standard, and I'll show you why in just a minute. So go ahead and select that, and let's hit download. And my computer's a little slow, so this may take a second. Good to go. We'll move on to the next step. So you've got your Easter poster icon on your desktop. Right click and open this with Adobe Acrobat. Now I'm going to go ahead and get that out of my face. Now, click the printer icon, and this will open up the various drivers. I've got to select the TM350, so let me find it. Bam, there we go. So now what we want to do is go to Properties. From this point, I'm going to select Poster from the list so that it knows that what we're, that is what we're trying to do. Uh, check the preview before printing. You'll come up with this little pop-up box, but just hit OK. What that's going to do is show us what it's going to look like before we actually print it. Go to Page Setup, and what we want to do is change the page size to Arc D. Arc D is 24 by 36. So now it will know what size document. I want borderless printing. And here you're going to select a 36 inch roll if that's what you've got. There we go. Awesome. And I'm going to rotate the image 90 degrees so that it'll print it the long way off of the printer. And we're good to go. You just hit OK. And once again, it's going to take this thing a second. But it should pull up the print preview, which is a really good tool to use because it'll save you a lot of paper and ink. 
And again, I apologize for the slowness of my computer. It'll just take a second. Or maybe a few seconds. Or maybe a few more seconds. Or even an uncomfortable amount of time. All right. Now, this window is just telling you the printer's thinking about what we told it to do. And there it is. So that's how it's going to come off of the printer. 36 by 24. On the right hand side, you can see the orientations of the layout. And all you got to do is hit print and it'll be good to go. Thank you so much for uh, taking the time to watch our video and I hope this really helped.